Marie. I'm worried. What if the last chest that me crew found on the little island of the lost treasure islands doesn't contain any treasure? Me crew's counting on me. We, we traveled for weeks to get here, and now it might be for nothing. I know it was my choice to sail here. A plane? A pirate doesn't take a plane. A pirate takes a sailing ship. You're not helping me to feel any better, parrot. Oh, ha ha. Uh, ahoy, mateys. And I'm glad you're back. Early this morning, while digging on the little island of the lost treasure island, me crew found another chest. I have me fingers and me toes crossed that the treasure we've been looking for for the last several weeks, the most valuable treasure on earth, will be in that chest. They're on their way back now. Perry says he has his tail feathers crossed, too. I'll let you know when me crew gets back. Well, me treasure hunting mateys, here it is. Let's hope. Might as well just open it up and see. No, 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 no! There's no gold! There's no gems! There's no pearls! Another Bible and a mirror. A mirror. I wasted me valuable gems buying this treasure map. Costed me a lot. I don't want to, Perry. What's the point? There isn't any treasure to be found. All right. I'll read the Bible story. Let's see what's underlined. It says, Luke 15, 8 to 10. Here it goes. Just another short parable that Jesus told to some people who gathered around him. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and sweep the house? Won't she search carefully until she finds the coin, and when she finds it, she'll call her friends and neighbors together. She will say, be joyful with me. I have found my lost coin. I tell you, it is the same in heaven. There is joy in heaven over one sinner who turns away from sin. Okay, this parable about the lost coin follows a parable about a lost sheep and how the shepherd left his 99 sheep to go find the one sheep that was lost. The shepherd then celebrated when he found his sheep. Jesus told his listeners that the lost sheep was like a person who chose to turn away from their sin, and how heaven celebrates when this happens. Now the story that Jesus told about the lost coin has the same message. It is an important story that also helped Jesus' listeners know how important it is to him to bring people who are lost in their sin back to him. Hey, this story is saying that we are like a valuable silver coin to Jesus. We are treasure to Jesus. He loves us so much. But all of us are sinners and because God is so good and holy, he can't be in the presence of our sin. Our sin separates us from God, leaving us lost to him, like a lost coin. But Jesus died on the cross and came back to life again to pay the price for our sins so we can be set free from our sin and no longer lost to God. God loves us deeply, and Jesus makes it possible for us to have a forever friendship with him. Just as the woman searched for the lost coin, God seeks us, wanting to save us from our sin and make us his forever friend. I lost a coin from me collection once and uh, it was very upsetting. I was so happy when I found it. So I understand how God would be happy when we are set free from our sin and no longer lost to him. 
Okay. But why the mirror? Why do I need to look in the mirror, Perry? Okay, I'll do it. Now I get it! The mirror reminds me that I am God's treasure. I am God's treasure. And so are you! Okay, let's see what the bookmark says. It says, we are God's treasure. But this brings me back to the question that I have been asking since we found the first treasure chest. How do these clues help me to discover the most valuable treasure on Earth? Good idea, Perry. Let's review the clues from the Bible stories we have read. Well, first, we read the story of how God spoke to Elijah on the mountain. And the bookmark said, God wants us to seek him until we find him. Next was the story of Solomon asking God for wisdom. And we learned that God wants us to seek wisdom from him. Then we came to the passages in Psalm 119, and we learned that the Bible is a map for our lives. The story of the Last Supper that Jesus had with his disciples taught us the most important people on earth are the ones who serve others. Following that were the parables of the hidden treasure and the pearl. And we learned that Jesus is the greatest treasure that we could ever receive. And finally, today we read the parable of the lost coin and learned that we are God's treasure. Mm. Barry, a genius! All the Bibles we found in the treasure chest were actually treasure chests themselves. The most valuable treasure on earth isn't gold, jewels, or pearls. The Bible stories were the clues to this. The Bible shows us that the most valuable treasure on earth comes from seeking God and his kingdom. When we do this, we come to understand that Jesus saves us from our sin. We understand what it means to live like Jesus and how to do that. The Bible helps us to get to know God and, and to know how to have a forever friendship with him and how to live his way. That's the most valuable treasure on earth. Being God's forever friend is more important than anything else. <laughs> yes, Barry, I finally understand now. I have been seeking after the wrong treasure. We did find the most valuable treasure on earth. Now, I need to help me crew understand that true treasure is contained in each of the Bibles we uncovered. It's my job to spread the good news to them so that they too can see God and become part of his kingdom. We did it, Perry. We discovered the most valuable treasure on earth. This treasure had paid off in a way that I never expected. I said I would share some of the treasure I found with the indigenous island people, and that means I'll take one of the Bibles we uncovered to them so they too can discover the most valuable treasure on earth by reading it. I can't wait to share our discovery with more people once we get back home. I feel like the richest person on earth right now. <laughs> well, ladies, thanks for joining me these last few weeks on the Lost Treasure Islands. Go ahead and, and read your Bible so you too can seek God and become part of his kingdom. And don't forget to share with others how they too can discover the most valuable treasure on earth. This is Pearl the Pirate and Perry the Parrot saying, <laughs>